All right guys, so today we're gonna to be cleaning out the dirtiest J7 rollers I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at how dirty these are. These are caked in black, I don't know what it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually wash them in water and let them dry out. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm gonna get some hot water in here. It's probably not gonna do anything. <laughs> it's good. So I'm gonna take some soap and I'm gonna scrub it. This is just a rough scrubbing. You'll get it much better later. Look at that. Look at the color of the water. <laughs> Make sure you clean it nice and good. Look at the color of that water. That's crazy. I'm gonna drain that. So while we wait for this to drain, so we can do it again. We're going to want to take some Clorox wipes now. This is what I use to normally clean them, but for this case, they're really bad. So now let's go ahead and rinse them off. And we're going to wash them with Clorox wipes, which is what I normally would do. But in this case, they were really bad, so I wanted to give them the extra treatment here. So this one. Maybe a different way. It's not really cooperating. What I like to do is I like to put my finger right here and really scrub it extra good. I'm just kind of put my finger like that. It's harder to get it along the ends. Look at that, night and day. See, all dirty, all black right there. Watch this. Brilliant. Really nice results. To the other side, see, look at that. It's coated in black. You get a different wipe for the other one. Again, just take it, wrap it around your finger, and then just take it here, and then just scrub it. It all comes up. Really beautiful results, really.
really nice what this can do for it. It's surprising. Get a different one again because this one just turned black. Kind of focusing in a little more on the problem areas here, parts that are dirtier than the others. I'm gonna rinse it off here and see. What else looks pretty bad on it? I guess it is harder to see with this one. It's bad on the other side. But we'll get that nice and clean. And now I want to dry them. Now you're going to want to dry these overnight, obviously, and actually probably multiple nights because if you squeeze it, there's going to be water coming out of this for a little bit now, but a little while. So you're going to want to let this ideally dry in the sun. Because I I ran mine one time I did this method and ran mine after like a few days after it was still wet, which is not good. You don't want that obviously. But uh, yeah, look at the night and day difference, you guys. Look at the before and after of cleaning these rollers. Really nice condition rollers now. Just really really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helped you out.